Something is wrong. Oh, come on. Isn't this what you guys do? Disappear for a couple days or a couple months in your case and then magically reappear for a big loving reunion? No, that's what I do. I disappear, but Tracy goes on vacation. Some island spa, and then she calls me to rub her hot young cabana boys in my face. We always have a ceasefire on our anniversary. It's tradition. For her to disappear and not even call me, it's just something's wrong. Come in. Hi. Hello, Maya. Hey, to what do we owe the pleasure? I don't know why Edward seems to think I have nothing better to do on my break than to be his messenger. So, uh, I'm here to tell you he got word from Tracy. She's in Fiji. So you can call up the search. Oh, and in Edward's words, neither of you two are to visit the house in her absence. Ha! Told you he loved us. See, everything's fine. Tracy's in Fiji. Fiji? That doesn't make any sense. She blew off our anniversary, not even a call? That's not right. Well, I'm disappointed, but uh, you should be relieved. You have a little respite here before she gets back and finds out what's missing from the till. Yes, I was actually going to talk to you about that. Um, Maya and I got into a high-stakes poker game the other night, and she completely cleaned me out. I mean, technically, she, well, she cleaned us out. Really? Wow. So, uh, in your spare time, when you're not saving lives or running errands for Edward, you're a card shark. I really wish... Oh, don't let this sweet, innocent facade fool you, okay? This woman is a shark. Good girl. Yeah, you know, I've, I've bluffed some pretty good players in my day. Some of the best, actually, but she called me out on it every time. Amazing. And speaking of, you still owe me a rematch. Oh, and why would I do that? Oh, come on, Julia, play of your caliber. doesn't need to be reminded of the card. You know, besides, I think you're kind of nice. Oh, I am. But unfortunately for you, that doesn't translate to me being stupid. See, Luke, I've never played cards with your son in my life. No offense, but I know a con artist when I see one, and your son is basically wearing the T-shirt. That's why we call him the Dodger. Awesome, thank you so much for backing that. Of course, oh, I'm sure you'll land on your feet. Guys like you always do. Hey, now what's that supposed to mean? Guys like me? Looks to me like you met your match there, sonny boy. So you want to tell me what really happened to the money? I lost it, okay? But I'll get it back, don't worry. You working on something or do I want to know? Yeah, I got a loan, okay? From Johnny Z. Bad idea. Sonny Corinthos is mad as hell, and Johnny C's got a bullseye painted on him. It's business, all right? It's just business, that's all. My business. Mob business. It'll get you killed. Look, I can handle it, okay? This isn't about the money, is it? You just crave the action. I sat behind that bar for months, okay? I was a good brother, I was a good son, and all I got for it was kicked in the teeth. So, yeah, it's time for a change of pace. You're an idiot! Sonny's out for blood, and you're volunteering to open up Fane. Hey, Ethan. If you want me to take off, I can. No, no, you're fine. <laughs> We're past all that, remember? I'm not exactly in any position to judge anyone right now. Are you in some kind of trouble? It's not because of me, is it? No, no, nothing like that. No, I'm legitimately the one to blame this time. Is there anything I can do to help? I do pretty much owe you big time. You don't, you don't owe me anything, but I appreciate the offer, though. Maybe you could just tell me about it. I mean, if you want. It helps to talk about things sometimes. Trust me. Basically, I screwed up to the tune of a very large sum of money. And, uh, 
I have a few options, you know, a few ways to fix it, but I've been strongly discouraged from using the best one. Discouraged by who? By Luke. You know, he's afraid that that if I work with this friend of mine, that I'll get hurt or wind up dead. Sorry, but I'm with you, Dad, on this. I'd rather have you alive. Thank you for that. Does the Valkyrie wish? So for a while, while I was trying to get out of town, I borrowed a few items from the Quartermains and pawned them for some quick cash. But I ended up sticking around. So when I went back to buy the items, it, retail was twice the wholesale. So I had to borrow a little money from the Haunted Star. That's kind of a lot of borrowing. Yeah, right? So I used that money to buy back the items and then the rest to finance this little forgery scam I had, but the buyer backed out at the last minute, so I ended up losing all of it. I could probably get you some money from Nicholas. I could just say it's for me. No, 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 that's sweet of you, but there's no way I'd involve you in this. And I'm not taking a dime from Nicholas that I don't steal with my own hands. Like I said, I have options, you know? It just requires taking a little risk. And uh, what's life without risk anyway, right? That's what I like about you. You never overthink things. Yeah, well, it's worked out for me so far, but it's nothing to brag about. Well, it's better than staying on someone else's five-year plan. You probably don't even have a five-day plan, right? <laughs> nope. No, you know, you're pretty insightful for a 17-year-old. Probably one of, I don't know, three people who actually gets me. <laughs> anyway, I should get going. But uh, I'll let you know how everything turns out. Good luck. Thanks. Done. So what, you coming to reconsider my offer? Yeah, I decided a nice influx of cash would work wonders for me. Okay, well, you know where I stand. You know what my deal is. I do. And I've decided I'm all in. Okay, you do understand that Jason will not be able to protect you, me, or anybody else against Sonny while he's in prison, right? Oh, I'm aware of that. Okay. Yeah. And I'm willing to take the risk as long as I get paid. And you <laughs> do understand I'm only doing this for the cash. Well, believe me when I say there's going to be plenty of that to go around when you're done. Shall we crack open a bottle of wine or something, huh? Celebrate a little bit? <laughs> Whoa, Sonny Corinto, he's not going to know what hit him. And let me tell you, we're going to enjoy watching him fall. Oh, yes, yeah, you're going to get me drunk so I don't back out of your little suicide mission. Oh, sudden attack of nerves? No, high tolerance for alcohol. Oh, well, don't drink it on my account, pal. I didn't make it. You want to offend me? Well, so I have a rule. Never turn down fine wine. Okay, then. So go ahead. Give me all the gory, grisly little details. Okay, well, I think I've been through it, but uh, I plan on taking advantage of Sonny's life and the turmoil that he's going through right now. I need a partner, and I need to know above anything else that you're committed. So whatever job you got going on at the Star, it's got to take a back burner. And as I start to expand my holding, as work starts to increase for me, it will for you, you may have to quit your job altogether. Well, you know, my main concern is increasing my own holdings. Well, you will. Confident as ever. Of course. Why don't you be straight with me? You're obviously genuinely interested, or you wouldn't be coming back to hear my pitch. So what's up? Well, it's like I said, you know, I could use the money. I understand that. That's the first reason. The second reason is honestly colossal boredom. Ever since I was 15, I've been sort of living on the edge, you know, one step ahead of the law, two steps ahead of the last mark. And then I blew into this burg and just found myself settling into a life that was much less exciting. And it just made me a target for everyone to pin crimes I didn't commit. And, uh, you know, I guess it was fate's way of saying, get back into the game. And once you have your stake, you're going to skip town or what? I like to keep my options open without having to steal from my old man. So, yes, I am interested in this partnership. But you have to understand, I am the brains, not the brawn. You find yourself pinned down in some musty old warehouse dodging bullets, I don't know how much help I'm going to be. Okay, well, that warehouse raid, just a blip on the radar screen. Tonight, we drive a stake through one of the arteries of Corinthos operations. Huh? 
I know what this 